afternoon. I hope you are doing well. Um, today is Tuesday the 1st of November and I thought I would film my little monthly reset that I do every month. I'm just about to get started. So um, what I normally do is just have a little review of the previous month and then set myself up for the upcoming month. So set some goals, get all my spreadsheets ready for the month ahead. And so I am ready for um, the month ahead and I know what I'm aiming for. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is make myself a cup of coffee and just clean up my desk. I've got a whole lot of bits and pieces here that have kind of just accumulated and I might just time lapse that for you. So I will see you after that. which always feels so good everything is just nice and fresh enough and kind of feels a bit organized and um, yeah it just brings more clarity into the space so I love that um, so now what I normally do is I just have a look at my kind of goals that I have written in my daily planner I just kind of go through everything and see where I am at and I also have some things just written on a whiteboard as well. Um, so that just helps me to, um, just to be able to just have a visual every day when I come into my office of where I'm at and what I might need to do. I haven't been setting huge goals lately, to be honest, because it's been a pretty ordinary year and I've just kind of been trying to, I guess, get things back on track, which it feels like they um, are starting to get back on track. So that's fabulous. So I kind of set some personal goals and then some business goals. For my business goals last month, I wanted to update my wholesale list so it was ready to go out to clients. And I haven't quite finished that because some prices have gone up on some things. So I've got to review that again. So that will move over to next month. The other goal I had for my business was to complete some product profiles that I'm doing that will go with those um, wholesale wholesale orders so that anybody who buys wholesale has a little profile of each product and they know what's in it and what it does and all that sort of stuff. Didn't get very far on that. I still have about four to do, I think. Um, so that will roll over into November as well. And then also my other goal was to um, just review my prices and um, decide when I was going to do a price increase. So I did that. Um, so there'll be a little price increase coming on the 11th of November. So that was done. Then I had a goal to do two blog posts, which I did both of those. Um, I had a goal to do three newsletters, which I also did, and four Google updates. So I only did three of those. I'm really trying to up my um, kind of, I guess, reach on Google. So that's one way you can do that. So yeah, I was one short on on that but I've already done my first one for November so that's a good start to November so that was basically my business goals I also sort of set goals every week as well in terms of how many clients I need to book in and stuff like that but the personal goals I set for October is I've just really wanted to again start tracking my hydration so just making sure I drink at least two liters of water a day I think I pretty much did that every day um, a meditation every day which I actually did that's just something that is just part of my life now anyway so <laughs> don't really need to track it but it's good just to um, just to see it written down and see that I've done it <clears throat> and then I had a goal to journal every single day of October and I did that up until the 27 so the last few days I've just slackened off a bit and haven't done that so I want to get back into that in November and then also to do a walk every day which I was really 
slack with <laughs> in October. We did some here and there, but there are a lot of nights that it was raining, a lot of nights that we felt lazy and didn't do it. So um, kind of want to get that back on track for November. And then I had another goal of just making sure that I give myself a weekly facial because I had kind of stopped doing that for a few months, just gotten out of the habit of it. So I only did that twice out of the, I guess, kind of four weeks. So I want to get back into that too, because I just feel like it's really good just to make sure you look after your skin. And sometimes with wearing a face mask all the time, sometimes I just really feel like my skin needs a little bit of extra care. So that will roll over again into November's goals. So yeah, that was pretty much it for October. So then what I do is I just open up my um, November blank page and I put in everything that I know is happening. I put in when bills are due and then I just put in those personal and work goals for November again. So I might do that and I'll come back to you. is done so we have um, for my personal goals I've got as I said my weekly facial and then still I want to continue to track my water walking meditation and journaling just so I can really get into the habit of doing those making sure those four things are part of my daily life again um, also I have to book a blood test and doctor's appointment just a general thing nothing is wrong <laughs> um, uh, so need to do that um, and then also I've got a couple of beautiful pieces of clothing I've got a Camilla piece and I've got a boss dress that I'm going to try and sell and I've also got a whole heap of books that I've been just putting on Facebook marketplace as I as I just have time so I want to continue doing that as well so they are my personal goals apart from just making sure I take time to relax and also to just getting into a new routine because I'm now opened on Monday. So my week's are gonna start to look a little bit different. So just wanna get that sort of like, get a nice little rhythm happening with that during this month as well. And then my business goals are, I wanna do two blog posts, which will um, probably just be about the meaning of spring and some spring essential oils and they will come after I've done my spring workshop this week, which is super exciting. Um, so yeah, two blog posts, three newsletters. Um, I wanna really keep my social media consistent because I'm getting a lot more, um, I guess, views and people interacting on social media. So I really wanna keep that up because that is good for just building my business. And as I said, finish that wholesale list and my product profiles. I've got to do some orders, which I will be doing those today and restock some products so that I've got some stuff there for Christmas because people are starting to think about Christmas now. So that is all done and I will transfer some of that onto my whiteboard so I can just see that and tick off things as I go. I do is I actually have two kind of little manila envelopes and I have one for this month and then one for next month so if anything comes up during the month that I know I'll need to work on next month I just pop it in the next month folder and I've already got something to pop in there it's just a little um, information or just a little document I've got about um, building my newsletter list and I know I'm not going to get to that this month so that will go in there and then this month I've got um, which I've already put into my monthly um, little spread there so my bills so I just pop them into this month's folder in order that they are due and that's just a little list of product profiles that can go in there this is just a little um, thing that I wanted to type up from the workshop I did a couple of months ago still haven't got to it so that can just go in there and that is just a receipt that I need to make sure I add to my expenses spreadsheet. And this is the wholesale list stuff that I need to update. So that will just go in there. And then in next month, I, yeah, I've got that in there. And then I've got an event to go to next month. Very little special event, 21st for a friend's daughter. 
So that can just go in there. And then I have, um, you guys, if you follow me on social media, you may have seen me talk about this before, but I just have an ideal week uh, little uh, printout. So I will print a fresh one of these out. And then what I will do is um, just fill that out in terms of what I'm going to be doing during my office days. So now I have Monday seeing clients, Friday, Saturday, Sunday seeing clients. Wednesday will probably be pretty much a complete day off and we'll go for a hike, which we normally do once a week. And then on Tuesday, I'm gonna have a little rest in the morning. Then I just wanna kind of make a kind of game plan of what I'm gonna work on on Tuesday afternoon and then what I'm gonna work on on Thursdays. So like for instance, Thursday might be the day that I focus on doing my wholesale list and product profiles and I just do those over the month. Um, and yeah, Tuesdays I might work on like newsletters, blog posts, um, social media stuff, just making sure I've got stuff ready for social media and also I need to restock my products. So yeah, I'll do those on different days. Um, and then as other things come up, I will slot those into those days as well. And then I already have um, a bunch of orders done that are all ready to go that I need to do. So I'm gonna do those this afternoon slash this evening. And then I also just have another, I just have a random list that I jot things down on. So there's a couple of little extra things on there that I wanna investigate. One of them is possibly starting a little mini podcast. Um, and yeah, just a couple of things I need to print out. Yeah, the other thing was filming this little reset video. So that I think is basically the only other thing that I do is set up, I guess my kind of like spreadsheet um, just for tracking my income and expenses. So I just need to set that up for November. So that's basically just a matter of copying and pasting Octobers and just looking at how many like client days I've got during the month. And yeah, that's kind of pretty much it.